Welcome back to Perkins Pipes. I am so excited about this video. If you saw the last video that came out, you know exactly why I'm so excited and you know what this video is about. For this one, I had to bring out the Savinelli Bing's favorite. As I've said so many times on this channel, uh, the uh, Bing Crosby was one of my mom's favorite singers. And uh, we've got the uh, little golf club and ball on here. Uh, my dad loved to play golf and I had to bring out a pipe that paid a little homage to both my mom and dad because they were both teachers. My dad was also a principal. Again, you know what this is all about. So, let's get this guy lit. Let's get to talking. So, I, there used to be a guy I watch on YouTube. Uh, he's not doing these videos anymore. Uh, he did reaction videos um, to, to classic music, classic rock songs and so forth. His name was Jamel, a.k.a. Jamal. Uh, he doesn't do those anymore, but he would always say, after he did his introduction, uh, he, he would say, we ain't going to waste no more of your time. Well, folks, we ain't going to waste no more of your time. We're getting right into this one. I want to share with you my new book. <laughs> I am so excited about this one. As you know, if you've watched uh, previous episodes on this channel, you know that I've written a number of things. Um, fiction, some nonfiction, and uh, numerous academic articles and so forth. Uh, but I've got a new book coming out. I am super, super excited about it. It comes out in December of 2024, which is really just a few weeks from, from now. What is the book? I'm going to bring up the cover for you here. It's called The Golden Waffle Principle, Finding Meaning in Teaching. So this book is my first book on education, uh, education essays, really. It's a collection of essays. And I want to tell you a little bit about how it came to be, why it's coming out this year some of the neat features about it, and also some of the really cool uh, new stuff that I'm launching online to kind of go around the book. So, in 2014, I was so deeply honored to be named Indiana's Teacher of the Year. We've talked about that in a previous episode. So back in 2023, I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know, hey, the 10 year anniversary of that is coming up. I think I'd like to do something to celebrate that. So I thought, you know, it's time to finally get down to writing the education book. I've had friends talk to me about writing an education book uh, for a number of years, uh, uh, particularly a friend of mine named Mark. So Mark, this is very much because of you. So I want to thank you for that uh, prompting over the years. So what I decided to do was to take some of the blog posts that I've uh, written over the last 10 years, went through all of the blog posts, um, uh, hundreds of blog posts, uh, that have had thousands of, of pe views, uh, uh, people have read them, um, left comments, so grateful for all of that. I went through all of them, picked out a selection that I wanted to work with. Some didn't require any editing. I thought I like them just the way they are. Some required some fairly significant editing, adding new material, taking out material that maybe seemed dated, and um, reworked that. Then added some brand new material entirely. Several new essays never before been published. Um, boy, that wind is kicking up behind me. I'm certainly hoping that doesn't uh, really obscure the, uh, the sound too much. Although I'm terribly afraid that it will. Right there may have been a little bit too much. So hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, so I decided to rework. Decided to rework some of those essays. Uh, like I say, uh, wow, there's a, a cool leaf just fell down on uh, onto the table here on the deck. Added new material, put that all together. Then it became, okay. How do, I, how do I get this published? Who do I go through uh, to publish this particular uh, book? And it turns out I've got a very good friend who was the 2014 Michigan Teacher of the Year, a fellow named Gary Abood Jr. 
Uh, Gary and I, boy, we hit it off right away. Uh, we immediately had a conference of all the teachers of the year. It was out in Scottsdale, Arizona that year. Met Gary, met all the other teachers of the year from across the United States. And Gary was a guy that I really connected with uh, over the course of our year uh, of service and doing things within our own states and doing things with other teachers of the year uh, around the country. Uh, he and I decided to launch a podcast for the following year in 2015, uh, which we did. It was called Teachers of the Year Radio, 10-minute conversations with the nation's top teachers or top educators. Uh, however, we uh, worded that, uh, interviewed teachers of the year, other phenomenal teachers and educators as well. Uh, that went very, very well. So Gary and I have stayed in touch. Um, like I say, we're, we're, we're good friends. And it turns out that Gary has a publishing company. Uh, he's taught, he has been a principal, and now he's in the realm of publishing, and he's got a wonderful company called Co-Grounded. And it is a company, I'm not gonna get into all that Co-Grounded does, I will put a link in the video though. Uh, Co-Grounded, their, their basic premise is to support educators and help educators get their ideas out to the world. So that's, that's, their, that's their real focus. So I talked to Gary, I said, hey, do you think this would be a project that Co-Grounded uh, would be interested in as he was telling me what the, what they did. He says sounds like a possibility. Let's take a look at it Let's see Send him the manuscript. He said yes. Yay. There was the first first thing so uh, Gary and his team started working on it uh, Getting things ready Right away the next thing was who's going to design the cover do we need somebody from the co-grounded team? Did I know any artists? Turns out I do my son, my son Austin, uh, you've heard me speak of him many times on this channel. He's a recent graduate of Purdue University in industrial design. In fact, he works for an industrial design firm. But he took on the challenge of, of doing the book cover and the layout and all that sort of stuff. So he's been intimately involved in Zoom calls and all that kind of stuff. And now we're finally ready to release this, this cover, which I, I just, uh, uh, we're going to pull that up right now. It is called The Golden Waffle Principle, Finding Meaning in Teaching. And wow, what is that all about? You say, why, why call it The Golden Waffle Principle? For that, you're going to have to get the book. I'm not going to reveal that one, at least not right now. Uh, but my son, Austin, and can I tell you what a thrill it has been to work with my son as a colleague, to work with my son as an adult, really a peer, on this project. Such an incredible thrill. Then we also had to get some endorsements, right? Endorsements for the back cover and all that sort of thing. And I know so many wonderful educators, just phenomenal teachers, principals, people who are involved in education in any way. And I got um, several just ph phenomenal people. Uh, I got my friend Kate Smith. Kate is an award-winning principal, uh, although she is just retired, actually. She's an award-winning uh, elementary school principal from Canberra, Australia. I had the great good fortune to meet her back in 2014. All the teachers of the year came together along with some international educators at Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama. Kate was one of those people, got to know her. A more delightful human being you will not find. Uh, Kate is just, just super wonderful. Um, she is, as I like to say, she's awesome sauce. And Kate, uh, that one's for you, my dear. And she uh, wrote a wonderful, wonderful blurb for me. Dear friend of mine named Ed Coleman. I used to teach with him. Uh, he and his wife then moved to Virginia. Uh, he is still teaching. Ed is a Milken award-winning educator. And what can I say about Ed? Ed's my guy for talking serious 
literature. Uh, Ed is one of the most serious-minded people I know. He's a fun guy. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, don't think in any way that this fellow is, is staid or stuffy. But uh, Ed is a wonderful, wonderful guy. His wife is wonderful. He's got uh, wonderful children, uh, great family. But Ed is my literature guy, and I was so honored that Ed would uh, write a blurb for, that, uh, for, the, for the book as well. Gary, who's helping to publish, he was great, gracious enough to, to write a blurb. So, so much appreciated everything that Gary has done. And it's been such a pleasure to work with a friend on this project. Uh, then we have the 2015 Indiana Teacher of the Year, Kathy Nimmer. Kathy has, is incredibly delightful. She is an amazing teacher. Taught English. She's been involved in other programs in, in her school district. Uh, and um, <laughs> what I can say is that Kathy is one of those people that you, you are a better person when you're around Kathy. Uh, she's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, she was in the final running for National Teacher of the Year uh, in her year of 2015. Uh, love Kathy to death and so deeply grateful. An English teacher, again, she's someone that, that I, I share uh, a literary love with. Uh, so, so deeply grateful to Kathy. Uh, and then the last one uh, who offered a blurb was my dear friend, uh, Dave McGinnis. He is now a professor at Taylor University. For years, he taught Spanish at the school where I taught. Then he taught English as a second language. Uh, he and his wife and their children we, uh, and, and my family, we've connected. Um, my wife is, is very good friends with them. Uh, she's done a number of things with Dave uh, as he supervises student teachers at Taylor University. My wife has worked with him going out to supervise student teachers out in the field. So, so, so grateful to Dave for offering a blurb as well. So, you know what it is? It's a book of education essays. Let me tell you what it's not. This book is not a how-to book in any way about how to teach. It, is not, it doesn't have any data in it. It doesn't have tables. It doesn't have any references to modern research, although there's a lot of references to research in this book. It's just that most of the people are about 2,000 years old. Most of the references in the book are to uh, ancient Greeks and Romans, other philosophers down through the ages. One of my favorites uh, that I may have spoken about on here before, uh, the French essayist Montaigne. Many, many wonderful people. What I'm about in this book is the true, the good, and the beautiful. It's about recovering the joy of teaching. It's about recovering the joy and the life in true education what learning is really about, which as we all know, is not about standardized tests. It's not about your grade point average. It's not about any of that stuff. It is something much, much grander. What's that got to do with golden waffles? Ah, like I said, you're gonna to have to get the book to find out when it comes out in December. Now I did mention there's some new things online and as soon as this, this wind kind of cools down here a little bit, stops a little bit, I'm gonna relight this pipe because I've been talking so much, this guy's gone out. Let's see if we can get this fella relit. So I've had a, lots of web presence over the years in different ways. You guys, uh, people who follow this channel, you know me mostly through uh, this per Perkins Pipes channel and also on uh, Pipe Cottage Social, that app. You also may have run into me on some of the pipe groups on Facebook. Well. Oh my goodness, we're really getting some wind there. And again, I sincerely hope this is not too much to, uh, to affect the video. But I have launched some new social media and I want to throw some links out here to you. So if you're a social media kind of person, I really encourage you to follow this. Uh, we're going to have some really neat things. So on Twitter, or X as it's now called, uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube, I am simply Stephen R. Perk. That's S-T-E-V-E-N, the letter R, P-E-R-K, Stephen R. Perk. So like I say, I'm gonna put links to all that uh, in, in the video and you'll be able to follow any of that that you like. 
what I can tell you is that all of those will be education only. I'm not talking about Deep Purple. I'm not talking about Striper. I'm not talking about Pipes. All of those will be dedicated solely to things that I have to say about education, sharing excerpts from the book, talking with other educators, that kind of thing. So if that is your cup of tea, if that's the tobacco in your pipe, then by all means, I encourage you to, to check those out. I also redid a website that I had years ago. Uh, years ago, I, I, I acquired StephenRPerkins.com, and I've relaunched that. Once again, my son was able to help me uh, with a lot of the design of that. Totally new look. I've got all my books there. Uh, opportunities, if you're interested uh, or know anybody who would be interested in having me speak at a uh, conference, large, large conference speaker, conference session speaker, or a small group, uh, maybe an educational team at a school, church, or whatever, all that information is on my website. Folks, I got to throw this book graphic back up here again. I'm just so excited about it. The Golden Waffle Principle, Finding Meaning in Teaching. It's going to come out in December. Of course, when it does, I'll be showing you the real thing. It'll be available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all your favorite outlets. Uh, and I would love to have you pick up a copy. And, of course, let me know what you think. As Malcolm Guite likes to say, I do these little things in order at last to do nothing. Or as I like to say in Latin, Parva ago ut tandem, nihil agam. Folks, have a wonderful day. Walk the earth, diesel and dust.